Hi and welcome to my channel, my top 5 compilation series. In my last video, I promised that a new video would drop just before double XP week. Since I like to keep my promises, this is it, a part 2 of places for majors are around level 100. So if you haven't watched my part 1, I highly suggest doing it. It was my first video in that series. I will put a link in the description and of course there will be a link in the upper right corner as well. I know many of you want me to record a video dedicated to mages 200 and plus and I haven't forgot about that. Sooner or later I will get to this one also. By the way, I was also thinking about doing some compilations for team hunts, since so hunts might get boring in the long term. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. I love to read your feedback. So don't hesitate to click that like button and subscribe to always be notified when my new video drops. And let's start. The best EXP per hour that you could probably get on this level. Lava workers in Kazordon, Warzone area. Since getting past the teleport requires you to be over level 100, that's the only requirement. Lavas only hit away fire damage. Equip fire protection items, bring magma dragon necklace with you, especially if you're that level 100 or around cause they can do some nasty damage. Even on my 200 druid, they could drop my HP to red color so watch out if you're fighting more than 6 monsters at a time. The best part of lava rookers is that they can go through parcels and additionally they are slow as hell. This makes them real easy target. There are usually parcels dropped around in this area but if not then bring them with you. These are the usual spots that parcels should be left. You basically lure mobs with you to these rooms and spam ice spells and occasionally hiding between parcels if there are not enough space to run. So these are the pros. And bad news now, they don't drop anything, nothing. It's a 100% waste hunt. Expect to have minus 50k after one refill when going back to depot, that's normal. Beside this, it's a really good spot for 100 mages. On my 200 level I was having over 2kk per hour, so coming here on 100 plus you should be expecting at least 1.5kk or more. Second best place when it comes to experience, Oramant Minotaurs, SD style, but on level 100 and above you should be able to hunt here without mana shield. But take care, try not to lure more than 3 monsters on you, cause it may end up badly. Hunting here without mana shield should save us some money, but don't expect to profit here. Mostly you're gonna end up with around 30k waste each refuel. Let me tell you a few words about monsters here. We have 3 different types of minotaurs and additionally a blood beasts. Minotaur hunters do a lot of physical damage, same with warriors. On the other hand we have worm priests with a whole spectrum of damage, energy strike, death bump, poison bump and some physical damage. I would suggest equipping yourself with a terra set with a nice shield and on top of that a koshay amulet. As for the layout, start killing everything near the stairs and slowly move into one of the directions. And watch out your back, in case any monsters might start spawning. About the XP per hour? I think you should be able to get around 800k or more, depending on your gear, skill and level. The third one, and my favorite one. Let me tell you that you could get some decent experience and make profit at the same time, on that level. Darashia, deep under dark pyramid, Patrick Mumis and their little bow of mer. I have showed that spawn in one of my profiting video, you might want to check this out, but going back to the spot. Pyramid is located northeast from depot, and to be able to pass through the door, you need to talk to the NPC and ask him about project and results. Equipment first, monsters here deal most of their damage as physical, but they also have a poison bomb ability which hit us with an earth element. I would equip a terra set when coming here on lower level. As for a weapon, we will be using great fireball runes since they are weak to fire damage. Well, I mostly see people killing mummies 
for bowls of mirror, which is needed for backpacking building, but they are also a great source of experience. On my level 220, I was able to reach almost 1kk per hour here. Realistically, I think you might expect around 7 to 800 per hour. I have managed to optimize my road and it looks like that. Don't bother clearing all, all the spawn. When running here you gotta watch out for paralyze. It's so easy to get paralyzed and one second later you could be surrounded. By the way, please don't copy this video one to one. Always adjust your level and abilities to the hunting spot. Number 4. Talahu Island and another SD hunting spot. Probably the hardest spot to get in this compilation since you gotta finish Wudu Master Quest and start Groma along with Talahu Mission Access. Before coming here buy a lot of sudden death runes and also a quick terror set because of the monsters we're gonna hunt here. Serpent Spawn and Medusa. Earth damage at its best. I would tell you to don't use mana shield and only fight one monster at a time, but sometimes you would lure more than one and when that happens equip energy, cause on a lower level they really do some nasty combo and teleport to the temple is the last thing we want. Regarding the road, clear each corridor and keep in mind that there might be monsters spawning at your back. Also when hunting here don't forget to pick up imbue items, strip of medusa hair and snake, snake skin, they are quite valuable. As for experience, you should be expecting something similar to Oramont Minotaurs, something around 700k per hour. The last one. In my first part of hunting spots from ages, I featured the Russia Worms. Naturally, in part 2, it's time to show you Liberty Base Pawn. The one under the mountains, which is located east from depot. Avalanches and lightning set is what you need here. They deal a lot of damage with energy element. This hunting spot is way smaller than what you could find in Drakia, but don't get me wrong, it's still good and I'm gonna show you why. We will be clearing main floor where you will find only worms and also those two spots with elder worms. Killing elder worms on 100 level? Have you lost your mind, you may ask? No, I'm still saying. This is because we want to keep the spawn in a good shape. If you only hunt main floor, there's a high chance you're gonna overkill it. So, energy ring is a must have in those two spots with elder worms, especially on lower level. On my 200 druid, I was able to run here without any problems, but when I felt like being hit by two or more Elder Worms, I was also using Ring, just to make sure I don't stupidly die there. These two spots should be good enough for you. There are stones at the center, so you could just run around them. But hey, it all depends what level you have, what gear you have and what skills you have. For some people, that main floor might be good enough, and for others it may not. Experiment, check how it's going and then kill Elder Worms if there's a need. Sadly, you're not gonna profit here, it, it would usually end up with a waste. They drop Hornbow, Focus Caves and few other valuable items, but it's not enough. But on the other hand, experience is quite decent, I think 600k per hour should be achievable. Let me know in the comments if you tried that place and how it went. And this was the last spot in this compilation, which I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And by the way, since we're in the middle of the Christmas event, have any of you got something valuable from Santa this year? To my surprise, on my paladin I was gifted a soul stone. What about you? Let me know in the comments. And there's only one more thing I could do. I wish a Merry Christmas to all of you watching this video, enjoying this double XP week guys, happy hunting and bye.